Hello, my dear friends. It's me, Professor Lil on air again to light up your science passion. How was your week? The last science experiment with raising water must have been a great start to everyone, including those who have never gotten A in science. Pretty awesome, right? So wait no more, cause today I've prepared a very easy making experiment for you. You can do it at home. It's cool and totally safe, as long as you follow my exact instructions. Now, let's hit it with the first experiment. Now this is what I like to call paper tornado. Here are everything you need. A piece of clay, a pen, a paper, a lighter. Looks like the lighter is going to be our best friend. A stick, a scissor, and a tea candle. That'll do it. First, you should use something with round shape such as a bowl to draw a circle on the paper. Then, draw a twist line inside the circle. After finished drawing, use the scissors to cut the paper following the twist line. That'll make it a tornado shape. Next step, you put the stick into the clay, then balance the paper line onto the stick. Finally, place the candle next to the stick and light it up. See what happens. After a few seconds, you can see that the piece of paper is moving, twisting round and round like a little tornado. This happens because the heat from the candle heats up the air around it, creating heat energy that makes the paper move. No wind needed, but be patient, because this will take some time. Now it's time for experiment 2, blowing balloon. This is quite simple, because you don't have to use too much materials like the first one. Also, you don't have to do too many steps. These are what you're gonna need. A balloon, a bottle, some vinegar, baking soda, and paper. Ready for magic? Okay, let's do this. First, pour the vinegar into the bottle. You don't have to add too much because you can use the vinegar left to cook. In the next step, roll your piece of paper into a cone shape. Use it to put baking soda into the balloon. Finally, cover the top of the bottle with the balloon. Let the baking soda in the balloon fall down into the bottle and look, the balloon filled up itself. That lift is the gas produced from the two ingredients, is carbon dioxide. As the gas tries to leave the plastic container, it goes up into the balloon because of the tight seal you have created. Because the gas has nowhere to go and is pushing against the balloons, it inflates it. Similarly, we exhale carbon dioxide when we blow up balloons. Awesome, huh? No need to thank me. This is the basic chemistry. I hope you like it. You can do it in class to impress the girls. Ha ha. I'll see you in the next episode. This is Science with Lil.